All right, so this is the second video I'm doing today, and uh, it's on my truck, which I made a video of long before I even had the HD camera. Uh, this is my 1966 Chevy C10, and uh, yeah, as you can see, I got it all restored in uh, metallic gray. So uh, just walk around here. I'm up against the garage door, so I can't back up much, but yeah, the thing turned out really good. I got my WSU plates on there, going in the fall. Um, Motor-wise, it has a Corvette 327 with a four-barrel carb. I did some painting there, and then uh, yeah, it's it's basically all stock, you know, just chrome on top and nothing too fancy. But uh, it gets the job done, and I like it a lot. And then I got the wiring here for my sub, which was super easy because that hole was already there and I just painted a little dipstick down there got the bottom of this all painted up but you know bugs and other wonderful things have gotten to that and over here I have my Awuga horn because you can't go without the Awuga horn and this is actually off of Tyler's truck good how are you? Alright, so there's that side. Then the rear end here. Taking, pictures? Taking a video. <laughs> You're gonna be on YouTube, Grandma. No, no. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I got a new bumper on here since last time. Way better. And new handles and all kinds of good stuff. Uh, missing a bolt for some reason, though. So, I've got that all good. My 400 last year fell off the tailgate while I was loading it. Uh, the ramps broke. And so I actually put this gigantic dent in it from the linkage. And it's all scraped up from the like the ramps and loading and stuff. So, yeah, that tailgate was kind of doomed from the beginning when I did that. And then I haven't gotten the bed in yet. It's just another piece of plywood, but it's not rotten like the last one. And then, uh, yeah, that's basically all that. You guys have seen the straight pipe that I did down there which is ridiculous. So, you know, things like new gas cap and new mirrors, but same old chrome here on the sides and all that kind of stuff. And then in here, I have a handle over here that's new, and same goes for over here. Basically got the dash all cleaned up. Um, new glass here, and then just repainted this panel here. All this is all original from before. Then got the new levers in for that, the original glass there. I got the radio in, got all that, you know, repainted and done up. And I have the sub down there, which is just a, like a 10 inch, I think it says, or the like brand is Dual. And my friend gave it to me for free. And then uh, new pedals down here, but I already have worn this one down over the last year. The new rubber mat, new seat cover. Um, Got my goggles up in here, new visors, and then the rear view mirror, which is original. And then I'll go ahead and play a little bit of music here, so you can hear the sub, which sounds really good. It's like the cheapest sub setup you can buy, the box is a total piece of junk, according to everyone I've talked to, and same with the amp, but it sounds really good, so I'll take it. that and then new seat belts new metal seat belt included and here's the horn I was talking about <coughs> and uh, for the final thing there's you know obviously the exhaust which I'll just post a video or post the video that I already did of the exhaust so you can hear that and uh, yeah so that about covers it yeah I got the whole truck all done up and looking good visors on there so uh yeah if any of you have seen the video before 
huge improvement from what it used to look like. So uh, definitely check that out. And hopefully I can include it once I get my editing software working. I can include it in one of the edits I do with uh, you know, the quad videos and stuff, which would be awesome. So, yep, anyways, there it is.